Hi guys and welcome to a fun and very different video than I would normally do and this is products to lose your shit over. <laughs> I don't normally swear in my YouTube videos, um, in fact I've stopped swearing since having my baby um, and I make a, a really big effort not to swear but sometimes you know when you use something and like a, a piece of makeup and you're just like oh my god that's amazing it's so good and you just like you just kind of want to just scream almost you're just like oh it's so good it's when you lose your shit over it so <laughs> i thought we won't just stop there i'm just gonna let all the swearing happen in this video and just swear 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 um because i get it out of my system <laughs> But um, yeah, so if you don't like swearing, you might not want to watch this video. Um, or if you think it's a bit of fun, you'll enjoy it. Cool. Um, and also, if you're wondering why my hair is looking super, 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 duper frizzy, it's just because I've let it dry naturally today. Um, I didn't want... I'm trying to give it a bit of a break from all the heat. I'm not needing to leave the house or anything, so I thought, oh, I'll just let it dry by itself naturally. Uh, I'm not going to straighten it and just leave it as it is. That's why it's a little bit frizzy. So it's freshly washed. It's just... Um, it's had no heat on it. My hair is naturally quite frizzy. Um, and also, sorry about the weird lighting. I'm sitting in front of the sofa for a change instead of sitting on a chair. So I'm sitting on the floor and I've got the light bouncing in from my right hand side, which is why half my face is like just filled with light and half of it is dark. So sorry about that, but we're just going to crack on with this anyway. So products to lose your shit over. I've pulled together a bag of, bag of shit, <laughs> bag of stuff that I really like. And um, I'm just going to jump into it because otherwise this is going to be a crazy long video. So, first things first, the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. Now I lost my shit just looking at the casing. Purple, awesome, loved it. I was just like, oh my god, it's so good. Then I opened it and saw the eyeshadows. So I had this for Christmas a couple of years ago, a year and a half ago from my husband. And these are the colours. And they're colours worth losing your shit over. Because you've got like blacks like really 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 dark blacks you've got purples you've got neutrals you've got greens you've got amazing colors like duotones glitters shimmers mattes like it's got everything you could possibly want in an eyeshadow palette and they're amazing quality i mean gosh some of these colors like prank that is worth losing your shit over and the lid's closing for some reason <laughs> but like the seriously amazing palette it's just Look at it, it's amazing, it's amazing. Um, keeping on the eyeshadow theme, I've got the Still It In The Light palette here. Now I didn't lose my shit over the whole palette, however, I did lose my shit over the colour Kitten, <laughs> which is this one here. So it's this like really lovely, sparkly, pretty, almost champagne-y kind of colour. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's just like, OMG, OMFG, it's awesome. So, yeah, I love that. In a corner, in a third, brow bone. Oh, cheeky. Really like it. And this, oh, I really lost my shit over this palette. Oh my god. You should have seen me when this arrived in the post. I was just like, oh my god, it's so good. And this is the um, MAC palette, small palette. Uh, it's their Pink Lux. Pink Lux is the shade. Um, and it's their Velux Pill Fusion Shadow palette. Um, and I didn't lose my shit over all the colours in it, specifically this one I did. If I can, I will do a close-up so you can see why it's worth losing your shit over. Um, but yeah, it's like a back... The, some colour in it is almost black, but it's got like two different types of like purple glitter in it. Oh my god, it's stunning. It's so pretty. All the shades together are gorgeous and they look amazing on the eye. Uh, but I really lost my shit when I saw this. I just... <sighs> can ask my husband. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Totally lost my shit over this. Oh my god. Oh my god. When I saw this, it was quite funny. So this is the Guerlain and Meteorites Compact, and this is it here. Total shit loss worthy. Completely. Um, and oh, when you put it on your face, oh my god, it's so nice. Really light, sparkly all over your face but not glittery but sparkly so nice and smells like palma violets oh my god it smells amazing but look look how gorgeous that is look how gorgeous the packaging is omfg it's amazing it's just so luxurious the product is so lovely it has a mirror in it it's just it's fucking awesome 
plain and simple. Um, what else have I got here? Two foundations. One was one everyone loses their shit over, and this is the Makeup Forever HD High High. Ooh. <laughs> It's the Makeup Forever HD foundation, um, so everyone raves about this, everyone loves it, and they love it for a reason. It's, it's fucking awesome. Um, it leaves your skin really nice and matte, it just leaves a perfect finish. It's really awesome, it's really good. Just make sure you get the right colour, that's the only trick, because they don't go that light. I think this is the lightest. It's almost too dark for me, almost. It's like, ugh, if you blend it in really well it doesn't look too bad. Um, but it's seriously good, seriously, seriously amazing. It's got people raving over it for a reason. Plain and simple. And this one, you won't be surprised for anyone because I lose my shit over this all the time. And that's the Bourjois um, Healthy Mix Foundation Radiance Reveal. Um, I have the shade 51, which is a light vanilla. Um, and it's so nice. Perfect dupe for the Nars Sheer Glow. Absolutely amazing foundation. Lovely finish. It's, it's so awesome. It's my Holy Grail foundation. It's fucking awesome. You need to get it. It's amazing. Absolutely shit loss worthy again as well. Really, really, really love it. Um, blusher. <laughs> this one. Milani blusher. It's a fucking flower. In a blusher. Three dimensional flower. See that? That's a flower. And it's so pretty. I mean, just look at that colour. It is so good. This is on my cheeks today, but you probably won't be able to see it because the lighting's all crazy because of where I'm sat. But um, it's absolutely gorgeous. And this is in the shade Coral Cove. I bought this from Beauty Crowd along with a couple of other bits from Milani, and it's just amazing. Um, in fact, I will give a special mention to the uh, number three Beauty's Touch Illuminating Face Powder as well. Look at that shit. Look at that. Lots of roses, all different colours, and some are shimmery. All are slightly shimmery. Are they all shimmery? It's ever so slightly, ever so slightly. Amazing. Look at that. Fucking awesome. Love it. Um, also, Blusher from Urban Decay. They're Afterglow in score. <gasps> look at that. Just look at that. That is a thing of beauty. That is gorgeous. Uh, lasts on the cheeks forever. It's got gold like glitter flecks in it. Um, oh, think Nars Orgasm, but better. Yeah, oh, it's nice packaging. See, it's all like sexy packaging. It's very nice. Um, oh, <laughs> uh, Lush Mint Juleps Lip Scrub. Absolutely worth losing your shit over. Um, smells like you're eating an after eight. I just want to eat all the sugar. I just want to eat it. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. It tastes really good. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but it's really nice. Um, works really well as a lip scrub, which is what it is. Um, and tastes amazing. Freshens your breath. And um, mm, mm, mm. yummy. Another blusher. This is a sexy blusher. This is from NARS. This isn't orgasm. That is just lost in the house somewhere and never to be seen again. This is Dolce Vita. And if you like deep berry toned blushes, you're gonna like this one. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that bad boy. <sighs> Matte, no shimmer. Matte and absolutely stunning. Oh, this is nice for the autumn. It's nice for the set, it's nice any time of the year. But this is a really nice one in the autumn. Oh. I, I did lose it a bit when I saw this come in the post. I was like, <gasps> ooh, that looks good. That's a gorgeous, that's a very me colour. I like berry toned blushes. And then we're down to the last few products. I will do eyes first. In fact, I'm not doing that one because I shouldn't have put that in there. Um, eyeliner. There's loads of eyeliners I like, but this is the one that gets me the most excited, which is by Dolly Wink, and it's their black eyeliner, the Dolly Wink liner. It's very, very, very fine tipped. Um, it's very precise. It's very black. It stays put. It doesn't move. It does what it says on the tin, and it's, it's awesome. It's really good. Um, this one's running out and I'm gutted I need to buy a new one because none of the others I've got are quite good enough. Mascara. Oh, this is a good mascara. YSL Baby Doll Mascara. I'm wearing Shocking at the moment, which is this one here. Both completely different ones. Um, this one's like 
lots and lots of like messy bristles, really thick formula, creates crazy lashes, almost spidery. And then baby dolls, like a small rubbery bristled one, and it creates really lovely, beautiful lashes, really full, and but not spidery at all. I probably prefer Baby Doll just because this one can go a bit spidery, um, so I didn't lose my shit over this one. Uh, but the Baby Doll one, I kind of did. The first time I used it, I was like, ooh, I like it. I like that a lot. I like this one. This is really good. This one's good, but this one's better. And uh, last but not least, lip products. So, <laughs> yes, lots of good products here. So now these. I lost my shit when I swatched these because I couldn't believe how crazy pigmented they were. In fact, if you know Hello Terry Lowe, she won one of these in a giveaway that I did and um, <laughs> she thought it was going to be more like a stain. So she kind of stuck it on when she was in the car on her way to work and was like, oh, I'm wearing bright red lips today then. I can't remember which shade she has, if it was 09 My Valentine or 10 Ladylike. I think it might be this one, my Valentine. I can't quite remember. However, look, I'll take both lids off and I'm just gonna hold them together and just do one stripe down my hand and you can see. You ready? Cray cray. Super cray. Oh my God, that's, that is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. That is crazy. That one didn't come out as well because I wasn't holding them straight, I didn't hold them properly. But oh my god, look at that. Amazing. Crazy pigmented, long lasting. Um, oh, I should tell you what they are. They're <laughs> Gosh Forever Lip Shine Pencils. Um, so yeah, the dark red is ladylike and the other one is in the shade My Valentine. So it's number 9 and number 10. Absolutely amazing, they do a really big range of colours and they're such good quality. They're so good. I mean, look at that. One little stripe that was. And then, oh, this is probably the one I lost my shit over the most, and I'll tell you exactly why. It's a lip lacquer from Chanel. So I went to a Chanel counter, this was a couple of years ago, I went to Chanel counter, and they gave me a little card with lots of samples of uh, lip products of theirs, all which are in the red spectrum. And I got home, and after I mean, a couple of months, I got around to trying them, and one of them I tried, I was like, oh my god. This is like the best red I've ever worn. It's like the best everything for me. It's exactly the right tone for my skin. Everything was perfect. And I went to the counter to try and get it a little bit later. And I thought, oh yeah, I need a red. And this was another few months after that. And they didn't stock it anymore. It was like a limited edition thing. And I was like, no. And then after searching different counters, I went into Boots and I asked, do you have this particular shade? She said, no, we don't stock it anymore. And I said, can you check? just in case you've got one lying around. She had a look in the drawer and there was one left that had never been sold. I couldn't believe my luck. And it is a Rouge Allure Lac in the shade 57, which is Dragon. Now, this is very precious to me because there aren't any more of them left, but I'm also aware of the fact that it will eventually go off. But I'm pushing my boundaries and it's probably coming up to how long I should hold on to it for now. But I honestly don't care. What does it say? 18 months? Yeah, it's probably past that now. I don't care. It's too awesome not to wear. You ready? You ready for this? Oh, giggity. Giggity, giggity goo. That is awesome. Oh, I will do a close-up of the three of these. I won't re-swatch them. I'll just show you these three. But this is amazing. The colour, the finish. Oh, it's beautiful. It lasts for ages. You might need to top it up a little bit. But oh, so, so, so good. I absolutely love it. Perfect for me. Love it, love it, love it hard. It's fucking awesome. I absolutely love it. Um, that is the end of my products to lose your shit over. <laughs> um, I've really enjoyed doing this video. It's been nice to cut back and kind of just do something a little bit more fun. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching it and I hope you've had yourself a little giggle as well. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Um, thanks to Lou Stevenson as well for giving me the inspiration for this. She just kind of said what products you're reaching for the most as an idea for a video. And when I was looking for that, I thought, I, I was looking for the products and as I was looking at them, I thought, God, I really lost my shit over that. And I just thought, oh, there's a video. And so it stemmed from that. So thanks for that. Um, anyway, um, Again, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video.